right now just waiting for a friend to come by and we're not exactly 150 percent sure what we're doing if we're going go-kart racing or we're going to like this little uh, circus fair uh, thing But um, I'll bring you guys along. But I thought we were doing it earlier in the day, but she wants to go like at 6 o'clock at night. So, uh, like I said, we're going to be doing either go-kart racing or going to the little fair and just hanging out. And it's always good to hang out with some cool-ass people that you get along with that you enjoy. That really makes it fun and exciting, not just something like... Oh, you call them, they're like, well, we, and they make excuses, well, we're going to hang out. But, but like I said, guys, that's what I'm doing today is just uh, getting ready to uh, shoot the shit and hang out with a friend. That's, that's pretty much what my day is and then uh, watch uh, some UFC fights. Here at the Auto One Indoor Speed Race Racetrack, I did get my... Uh, Hooked up. Hopefully it doesn't fall because they say you're supposed to use those on there, leave them on there for 24 hours before you actually use them. So hopefully it doesn't fall. But if it does, that will suck because there's cars coming by, hopefully. Because when I did put it on in the first place, it did fall off. So hopefully it stays on there because, like I said, if it falls off during the race, I'll suck. I got 30 more minutes to wait until uh, we get a race. So hopefully it will stay, baby. So guys, what is going on here is we're here at the indoor speed race and this guy is giving demonstrations and instructions on what to do and what not to do and he's letting us know what all the flags mean. So I've already done this, but my friend's never done it. So uh, you can see right now I put my helmet on, but there is something that happens later on in the video that really sucks and I actually thought I broke my camera and you guys will see why here uh shortly once we get the uh stuff rolling
as you can definitely tell, baby, I, I do love this. It is fun. It is exciting. This is one of the things that I, I, I get out and enjoy. It's only It only cost me six bucks because I had a free race. So if you guys are ever here in Jacksonville, Florida, I would recommend hopping on one of these go-karts and haul ass. You're doing like 35, 40 miles per hour. And my camera didn't pick up at one point where I did get smashed. Like a dude just ran right in me. Wham, baby. But this is uh, pretty fun. Would you guys do this? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you want to uh, ride some go-karts? And my camera still works, but damn, cameras can take a beating. Holy crap. It pissed me off that it fell off, but I knew it was going to fall. What is up, suckers? It's UFC 196. We're here at this little sports bar getting ready to watch the UFC event. And they're going to be playing on that little TV over there so I can watch it for free. But, uh... People are sleeping on Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is going to uh, shock the world. And that's the bottom line. People are like, oh, Nate's going to get whooped in 30 seconds. I don't see that. I don't see that. Even though he's only had a week or two of training, he's been training all along. That's what they don't tell you. The media doesn't tell you. He's probably been training because he knew he was probably going to get this fight. So at the end of the day, Nate Diaz, even if he loses, it's going out of the first round, baby. Let me know what you guys think.